No, oh, guys, I'm not making this up. This was something that I generated with one single block of code, and I just simply prompted it to create a Mario like game, which I'll leave in the description below the prompt for. But you can see that this is the app that I was able to create, and it's basically like a Mario 2D game. So let's preview this in a full screen. In this case, I can jump, you have those animations, and you can collect these scores. And every time I hit that block, it's gonna be game over. In the latest update, OpenAI just introduced their newest model, O1, also known as Strawberry or QStar, which comes in two variants. You have the O1 Mini and the O1 Preview. The O1 Mini is optimized for fast, cost-efficient reasoning, particularly in coding, mathematics, and science, offering 128K context length with an October 2023 knowledge cutoff. Now the O1 preview, meanwhile, is tailored for more complex tasks that require broader general knowledge, sharing the same context length and cutoff. Both models are designed to think longer before responding, making them capable of solving harder problems in areas like science and programming. Though benchmark comparisons are still early, which is why we haven't seen a lot of tests in comparison to like other closed source models. But the initial tests show that the O1 model is significantly outperforming GPT-4 Omni in all categories, especially coding. In fact, it's being praised as the best coding model available and in general, the best LM ever to be created. Now, there's already crazy predictions going out where O1 is being integrated into various frameworks like Devon, for example, which reported to show that they were able to solve 70% of real-world GitHub problems with the integration of the O1 model. But remember, it's Cognition Labs. I wouldn't really trust them on what they stated based off of their prior announcements. Now, from a more trustworthy source, Ader, they had reported their first test benchmarks of the O1 mini model, and it had it tied with GVT4 Omni on Ader's code editing benchmark. And remember, this is the mini model variant of the O1 release, not the preview, which shows a huge improvement. Currently, the Omni 1 mini model is scoring a 70.7% in terms of completing answers or errors in regards to editing. Now, I'm expecting that the preview model is going to be scoring roughly around 81 to 82-ish, but let's see. We should see results coming out fairly soon. Now, I know I can't give you any benchmark scores to showcase the capability of the preview model, but based off of many people's impression, as well as my personal impression on it, I can tell you that it is insanely well in terms of refactoring code. The O1 model is going to excel quite well in terms of refactoring large code bases and pinpointing potential issues or optimizations of different code effectively. Now, in this example over here, this is a game that was simply created within a single prompt. And this is with the preview model. And you can see that it is going to creatively focus on generating things quite well, focus on concentrating intensely on the main task, something that was created with the O1 preview model, a color palette app where you can extract different sorts of colors from an image that you upload. And this was developed within 54 seconds. Someone created a chess game, a functional checkers and chess game within a couple of seconds with the help of the O1 preview model. The fact that this model within a couple of seconds can code all applications like this is just insane. Now, if you skip through the video, you're going to be able to see the final design of the chess game that was developed. Now, as you might have saw from the title of this video, imagine if you are to integrate the O1 preview or the O1 mini into Ader. It's going to greatly elevate your coding. And the reason why is because Ader is an AI pair programmer, which is designed to work within your terminal, allowing you to have seamless collaboration with your large language model. This is to edit code directly in your local Git repositories. And it's also going to help you and assist you in creating new files, working with your code base. And it's configured to basically utilize the LM in a better manner for coding based tasks. Now, just from my standpoint, I'm not going to sugarcoat everything and say that you should 100% use this as this is the best model ever. I'm not saying that it's not, but I need to lay out certain cons of this model. 
This is a really, really expensive model in regards to just the O1 Mini. The pricing for it is kind of absurd. $3 per 1 million input tokens and $12 per 1 million output tokens. Now, if you refer to the O1 preview, you're going to be able to see that it's $15 per 1 million input tokens and $60 per 1 million output tokens. Now, this pricing is considerably higher compared to many of the other models out there. And it is definitely going to be quite pricey, the performance that you get. Paul, the creator of Ader, had also stated that currently the O1 preview is struggling with diff edit formats, which might be impacting its performance in the benchmarks. A major thing that you need to note before you even get started with this is that you need to make sure that you have API tier 5 as you won't be able to access this if you're not in this tier. To check this, just head over to that API page and it'll show your tier in the billing section. You need to have spent 1000 through APIs and that's the only way you're going to be uh, able to access this and access that tier. So now that we have all that out of the way, let's showcase how you can install Ader with the O1 model. First things first, you need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled. You need to have Python installed as your programming language as well as Git installed. Once you have those two things installed, we can then proceed forward with the next step. What you want to do first is head over to the GitHub repository for Ader, and once you are here, click on this green button over here and copy this link. Once you have done that, go into your command prompt and just simply type in git clone and then paste the link in for this repository. This will start cloning this repository and once it has finished doing so, what you can do in the meantime is head over to the installation uh, tab within Ader's docs, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And what you want to do in this case is you want to copy this main command, which is uh, python m pip install ader chat. And what we're going to be doing is installing ader once it finishes cloning this. Once it has finished cloning, just get into the directory of ader, and that's by simply typing in cd ader and then clicking enter and then pasting in that command that we just copied. It's going to start installing all the requirements that are necessary for ader. And once it finishes doing this, we can then proceed with the next step. What you'll need to do next is set your API key. And this is where you're gonna to need to create an API key from OpenAI. And once you have done so, you can then simply just use the slash set command with your API key with this command over here. It would be like this. And then the API key over here. Now, what I've done is I've requested Ader to create a financial application for me. Now, this finance app is gonna be able to track and visualize how well the stock is doing. So what I'm going to be doing now is generating this. And in this case, I already have the code snippets for it. So now I'm going to paste in the code that I had generated with Ader as well as the O1 preview model. And there you go. You have this stock tracker and it's quite modern. And I'm going to now preview it on a full page and paste in a random stock ticker. So let's just paste in Google. I believe that's a stock ticker for it. And let's click on search. And there you go. You have the current price, which is $154.69. And the change for this current day is $3.53. Or, yeah. So, what you can also do is that I had also prompted to tell it to add visualization, but it seemed to not have done this because I didn't provide the FinHub API. But if I was to actually do so, it would actually show a visualization. But this was an application that I created with a single prompt with this new model. And whereas if I was to do it with many of the other models like Claude, it would request me to uh, prompt a couple of times to generate this. So it's definitely a great advancement and I definitely love the output that I got for this particular app. Now guys, I'm not making this up. This was something that I generated with one single block of code and I just simply prompted it to create a Mario-like game, which I'll leave in the description below the prompt for but you can see that this is the app that I was able to create and it's basically like a Mario 2D game. So let's preview this in a full screen. In this case, I can jump, you have those animations and you can collect these scores. And every time I hit that block, it's gonna be game over. This new model is no joke, guys. There's so much more to uncover from this, especially the benchmark scores. And this is something that I'm gonna be sharing constantly throughout the week on Twitter, the Patreon, the private Discord, as well as the YouTube channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned. 
especially having this connected with something like Aether is going to elevate the coding game uh, by like thousands of folds. Now, I'm particularly baiting for OpenAI's O1 uh, integration into Cloud Dev, and that's going to definitely enhance a lot of people's coding experience. So definitely stay tuned with the next few uploads. It's going to be a lot of jam-packed videos on how to utilize this new model in various ways and how it's going to basically elevate the AI space. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. It's a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. Uh, make sure you follow me on the Patreon and join our private Discord so that you can basically access different subscriptions, AI news, consulting, and so much more. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.